Hi, welcome back to Hook and Soul Lifestyle. Debbie here. I have been busy creating Santa hats. These are um, four different sizes here that I have. And I'm going to be adding all this to the pattern. All the different sizes, the instruction for the different sizes on my website, which is located down below. And as you can see here, this is a fifth size. I made it a little bigger than the biggest one that I have. And there's a reason for that. It's because it's for a brother of mine who is a big man. So I made it just one size bigger than this one. So meaning I just um, increased one more time for this one than I did this one. This one. So that's just it. Just made it a little wider as you can see there's a little bit of difference here if i put it more this way then you'll see how much wider it is so there's five different sizes and like i said all to to get them the different sizes all you have to do is increase so for this one this one is made for a newborn so size zero to, to three months and I did I used a different hook but used the same pattern as the baby size which is from I guess from three to nine to twelve months if the baby's head is small enough to fit it then you can just move on to the next size or use a bigger hook and you use the pattern for this size with a bigger hook I hope that makes sense but yeah that's just how I work them out so all these hats are spoken for by the way <laughs> I am um, also selling them um, a lot of people have requested for me to make them Santa hats this year so these are all sold if you're interested in buying one from me I'm going to um, also you can look down below my Instagram is located down below as well and you can get one from there all the information will be there on a picture that I took of the hats and down below below that um, picture you will see all the information so anyway we're just gonna get started I'm just gonna show you one size which is the the child to adult size how to make that one everything else will be like I said on the pattern that you can find on my website also I've made this this was a request um, for a newborn little girl well she's two months so yeah mostly she's She's not a newborn anymore, but she's still tiny. <laughs> so I made this for her. These are little bo Santa booties. And this little Santa skirt. And it's gonna go with this newborn hat here. So that was a, if you want, that was a request from someone that I know. If you want to see this, or you want a pattern for this, if you want a video for it, just let me know. And for the, for the booties as well, just let me know. And I will try to get that up fast and in a hurry but for now I'm just gonna show you the hat and all I used was some red heart super saver in the color cherry red and white so those that is the yarn that I used for that for those hats and I'm gonna be using a J hook and for this hat that I'm making on camera I'm gonna use gray and pink because my daughter requested her hat to be gray with a pink pom-pom so we're gonna begin with the gray and then the bottom of the hat will also be pink also if you um want to know how I made the pom-poms I just used these little gadgets here that you can find at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any um crafty store you can find those that's what I made the 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 one for the newborn hat. I used the this smaller size, and then for all the other pom poms, I used this medium size. Okay, so let's get started. So, like I said, I'm going to be using the J hook, and to begin, I like to start with a magic ring, and I'm going to chain up two, one and two, and let me bring this up a little bit more. There we go. So magic ring, chain two, and I'm gonna add six 
double crochet inside the ring. So we're going to start with six double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five. That was six. So now I'm just gonna close it up by pulling on that string. And this string is gonna come in handy later on when we're done with that. So don't um, work it in, just leave it there. And now we're gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet that we made. All right, so that's round one. Round two, we're gonna chain up two. Chain two does not count as a stitch. And then we're gonna do one double crochet all around. So for a total of six double crochets. Now I'm just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made. That's round two. Round three, we're going to chain up two. And we're going to add two double crochets into each stitch. So we will have a total of 12 when we're done with this row. So two in each. to that first double crochet. Remember that the chain two does not count, so we don't slip stitch into that. We jump over that chain two. So for round four, we're gonna chain up two, and we're gonna do just one double crochet into each stitch for a total of 12. Now I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet right there so that concludes round four for round five we're gonna chain up two and we're gonna increase again so two double crochets into this first stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch and we're gonna continue to do this all the way around one into the next, and two into the next. All right, so now I'm gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet. And that concludes round five. In the next row, we're gonna chain up two and just one double crochet into every space. Here I am at the end, I should have a total of 18 double crochets and I'm gonna slip stitch to that first double crochet. 
So I'm going to continue to alternate these two rows, one of increase and one of just double crochets around until I have increased um, a number of seven double crochets and then an increase. So when I get to that point, then I'll tell you what we have to do next. So if you're wondering what I'm saying and I'm confusing you, I'm just saying that we're going to keep increasing and doing double crochet rows until my increase. So here in this row, I put two in the first space and I'm going to do one double crochet into the next two spaces. Okay? So then the next row will be just double crochet. The next row after that will be two double crochets in the first one and one double crochet in each of the next three. So we're going to continue to do that until we reach seven. So we'll get back to that point and I'll tell you what to do next. One and two and then two double crochets in the next. one and two and then two double crochets into the next one all right so I completed my last um, increased row and I increased here by adding two at the first stitch and then one two three four five six seven double crochets then two double crochets all the way around. So that was my last increase row. We should have 17 rows by now. So let's see, let's count them. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So now for six rows, I wanna do six rows of just double crochet around. So we'll just chain up two and one double crochet every stitch for six rows. So I did my six rows of just double crochet. So now we have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 23 rows. So we're gonna cut our yarn here because we are finished with the gray and we're gonna pick up our next color, which is the pink. So I'm just gonna cut my yarn. Tighten that up, pick up my pink. I'm gonna make a slip knot add it to my hook and then add it to my work and that first space right there where we just cast it off and chain up two and then we're going to do double crochet all the way around so in that same space where we just chained up two we're going to go back in there and do our first double crochet all right so just double crochet with the pink all the way around as you work around, just work in, I mean, just hide your work, um, your stragglers. <laughs> Sorry. So I'll meet you back around. So I made my way back around. Now I'm going to slip stitch here. Okay. And now I'm going to chain up two. And for two rows, I'm going to do this, which is front post. So front post to that first double crochet. And then back post to the next, alternating all the way around. So front post, back post, all the way around for two rows. So I made it, I made my two rows of front post, back post double crochet, and I am going to slip st stitch to that first double crochet of the row. And I'm gonna cast off here because I am finished with my hat. Okay, pull on that. Let me just back up so you can see. All right, so here is the hat.
All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I add the pom-pom, coordinates with the bottom, it's so pretty, these colors together. Um, I'm gonna show you how I add it to my hat. Grab my, my needles, let me come up closer so you can see it. Okay, so that should be good enough. So here I have my needles, and I have two sizes here, just gonna show you big one small one I'm gonna use the big one I'm gonna put that one away I'm using the big one because I have two strands of yarn here right when we made the pom-pom you get you are left with two strands because you have to tie the pom-pom if you don't know how to make a pom-pom there's plenty of um, tutorials on YouTube using these I think these are by clover if I'm not mistaken with these pom-pom makers so you can Find a tutorial on that. So I'm gonna add my two strands to the needle. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to insert it to the top and I put my hand inside the hat. I'm gonna add it there, right in the middle. And remember that strand of yarn that was left behind when we began the hat that I said just leave it alone we're gonna use it later we're gonna tie off our ends so these this end with the yarn inside the hat we're gonna tie them together so the hat doesn't fall off but I'm, let me just show you how I get it in here so oops pull the needle through here it's giving me a hard time okay here we go all right, so I pulled the pom-pom as close as I can get. I'm here on the other side, side of my hat. My two strands, I'm still holding on to them, making sure that they don't come off my needle. And I'm gonna go back in to the top of this hat, making sure that I don't get caught. My needle doesn't get caught anywhere else. But then I'm gonna bring it back to the top of the hat and to a separate space. Not to the same space we went in, but in another spot, like right there. Hope you can see that. And then I'm gonna pull my string through there. And I'm gonna pull on it so it could be strong. So, and then I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna put it inside the pom-pom itself. So push it through. It's gonna be a little difficult at first, but you'll find your way in there. As you can see, it's coming out the other side of the pom-pom. I'm gonna pull it through and I'm gonna pull tight put my hand back inside my hat because I'm gonna put the needle right back inside my pom-pom just like I did there just gonna find a spot where I can push through right to the other side of the pom-pom and then through the hat itself so I'm gonna find another spot in the hat right to go in and I'm inside the hat now and my hand is right here I'm gonna pull the needle through the inside of the hat and I'm gonna pull on that tightly. Let me just show you. Right? And our, our pom pom is secure in there. Nice and, and snugly. If you wanna do it a second time, you can. I'm not. I, I'm really happy with that. And I'm just gonna pull again, making sure that it's tight. I'm gonna find that other end. Okay. So here's my other strand of yarn. And I'm just gonna take those two. I took the needle off. And I'm just gonna tie them together make a tight knot and then a double knot just like so so you can see I ripped it off from being so strong but that should be enough to hold the pom-pom in place so you can see it's, it's nice and tight in there. so now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut them off not all the way but just even a little bit of it left behind that's it because that's not going to show that's inside of the hat okay and then all we have left is to um so in our ends i'm going to take my other needle which is a smaller one thread my needle here with this straggler and in the inside of the hat i want to go inside back and forth a few times to hide it to hide it 
then I'm gonna go in through here, go this way, go back up this way, just like so, and then go back in the other way, and that should just be enough right there. And I can cut it off now. And then here, remember we had those in there. And we'll just cut those off because we wrote those in. So I'm we'll just cut those off. And my hat is complete. Remember the seam is back here. You can hardly see it, but it's right there. So that's up the back of my hat. And then this is the front of our hat. Back it up again. So you can see. And there goes our little Christmas hat. I'm gonna put it on my mannequin. You can see it. And fold it up like this. And there is our hat. Right, guys so that is how you make a cute little Christmas hat simple fast I made like six of these in one day because um, I had so many orders so they're very simple to make and there you go you can make them in any color I love this um combination with the light gray and the baby pink for my daughter and yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching and yeah let me know what you think about the hat let me know if you want to see a video on that little skirt that i showed you at the beginning of the video if you do please let me know in the comments down below and if you like i said if you want a hat just go over to my instagram there's a post there that you can um message me on and yeah thanks so much guys bye